Kepler is a mission that we're designed to find Earth-sized planets orbiting around sun-like stars. We're, it's, a, it's a statistical mission. We're trying to determine the frequency of Earth-like planets around other stars in our uh, galaxy. One of the things we do at Ames is we actually process the data that comes from the, the Kepler spacecraft. Uh, since we don't know a priori what we're looking for, we have to uh, fold the data in, in, at various test intervals uh, which is very computationally intensive. And also, since we're monitoring almost 200,000 stars, that gets multiplied. So that what the NASA supercomputer does for us is it allows us to do that processing much quicker than we could do it on our own. We have uh, hardware that's specific for Kepler to do processing. On that hardware, it takes uh, over a month to do, the, uh, do, the pro to do that search uh, with our hardware, with the same thing we could do in about 24 hours on the supercomputer. We're using uh, Pleiades, which is about 113,000 cores. Uh, currently, we use about 15,000 cores per run, so we run those 200,000 stars across 15,000 cores to, to do our transit search. Ideally, you know, we, we could use one core per star, and since we're looking at 200,000 stars, if we had a, a supercomputer with 200,000 cores, that would be great. And we could actually do that entire search in about an hour. Um, but, you know, the fewer cores we have, it just takes that much longer. But Pleiades is a huge step up from the, the cluster that we have, which is about 500 cores. So going from 500 cores to 15,000 was a, a lifesaver for us in our mission. Well, we found uh, so far we have about 1,200 candidates. Um, of those candidates, um, we, we have found some that are uh, Earth size. We've found some that are in the habitable zone, which is that area around a star where liquid water could exist on the surface. But what we're looking for is a combination of the two, ones that are both Earth size and in the habitable zone. And that we're still looking for, but we've got a lot more data to collect. And as we collect more data, this computation takes longer and longer. So it's going to become even more critical that we have the supercomputer facilities to continue that search.